cool. Yeah. Hey, what's going on, everyone? We're back here, still in Asheville, North Carolina. It's Saturday, right? Yep. Yeah, I think Saturday? So. Yeah, Saturday. We're here with the Independence Fund and uh, Save Our Allies as well. We're, we've been doing runs with the helicopter over there and dropping off supplies to people in remote areas of western North Carolina. Got a bunch of generators, gas cans, sleeping bags. We've been handing out a bunch of stuff because the supply requests have been changing a lot because it's getting colder and it's more about sustainment right now. So we're trying to get out people, uh, get as many supplies out to people as we possibly can. They're going to actually help them um, and not stuff that they already have a surplus of. So uh, you work with the Independence Fund, correct? Yes, sir. What kind of things do you guys do? Um, we are currently, we're out here just loading up stuff for the, uh, and we're loading up things in the helicopter, loading up vehicles and just, uh, delivering things to different stations all around, uh, the Asheville area. And, How long have you guys been up here for? Uh, we've been up here for a little over a week. I think last Sunday okay. is when we first had guys up here. Yeah. You guys have um, been crushing it up here. Yes, sir. Yeah. We've yeah. been, uh, working pretty hard up here. Yeah. Well, I appreciate all the things you guys are doing up here to help the people of Western North Carolina, man. Of course. Yeah. It means a lot. Mr. Dean. What's up, bro? Hey, so what, who, what do you do up here, Dean? What's up? Oh, I'm here to help, too. So, yeah. yeah, easy day. Just adding a little bit of coffee to the mix, but, you know, helping Sean, the team, Independence Fund, yeah. all of the guys, you know, just help get out to the outreach. Today we're really focusing because we got the, the sweet guys from that brought the helicopter, so trying to get to the more harder-to-reach places today to deliver yeah. them these generators, gas, some supplies to cut some uh, trees, clear roadways, and... And some coffee too, right? Absolutely, and some coffee. Yeah. I think it's going to be a pretty good day. Yeah, D Dean here works for, for Black Rifle's philanthropy side, right? Correct. Yeah, so they've been crushing it. They've been handing out tons of coffee to, to some of the active duty and, and National Guard troops up here and also to all the local fire departments that we can come across, bringing them blankets, bringing them K-cups, bringing them bags of ground coffee to help keep them going throughout the day as they're working to do these relief efforts and providing people with supplies because obviously people get tired, so having a little bit of coffee in the back pocket helps out a little bit. You they, know? They've been so humble and sweet. It's so amazing to see. They're just so appreciative and generous. It's just it's it's so uplifting to see the community come together like that. It's just it's been absolutely jaw dropping. Yeah, yeah. It's that's the one thing I noticed about the people up here, man. Like it's salt of the earth, and there's people from all over the country. They're performing um, aid and relief missions, whether it be just like folding stuff or wrapping up pallets of water or whatever, cleaning up stuff. Like there's so many people out here doing so many good things and there's a lot of good organizations if you want to volunteer one of them is the independence fund and save our allies and there's a lot of other ones out there as well so anyway i appreciate you guys i hope you're doing well out there if you can find ways to contribute whether it's donating or volunteering personally i highly encourage you to do so all right we'll see you next time